Oh. Are we lucky? I don't know. I don't know. Charlotte has for sushi this morning. So Grace and I and Charlotte are gonna have sushi. Mim and Gab are gonna have sandwiches. We're gonna eat sushi, but we can only eat the cucumber one. First of all, cause Charlotte only eat this. And also because Grace is on a zero fat percent diet. For the first time here, you haven't seen a video. Grace went to the emergency. They figure out that she need to have a surgery to get her gallbladder removed, but she need a zero percent fat diet until she get the surgery, which it's taking forever. Four weeks later, after we started that 0% fat diet, I now lost 14 pounds. I went from 198 to 184 pounds. And it's not some sort of diet that's proven whatsoever. We're not really trying to do a diet. The problem is she needs to have that surgery and she needs to be at 0, 0.5% fat because it's gonna get worse. To support her, I'm just following along. Cannot have the sushi with the salmon or the tuna because there's fat in the fish. So we're gonna stick with the cucumber and the kids are gonna have sandwich that we're gonna buy at the grocery store. So Grace went one side right now and she's buying the sushi. Uh, we'll see you guys. Is it because Mama's gallbladder is bad? Yeah. So does he have to change it to a new one? No, they're just gonna remove it. <laughs> the whole thing. Peace. Pasta? Panini pesto. What do you have in your hand, brother? I didn't know we were getting this. They don't have the other Does that work? The square triangle one you want? They don't have them here. They have pizza submarine. So people have to pay first before they get in. So you need to buy online your coupon, your tickets, whatever you call it, before you actually show up, which we're going to do right now on the phone. It says that it's full and that they won't let anybody else in, which is crazy because the National Park is huge. How come? How come well, it's totally I see all those people driving in too. Like, I just tried to get in and they said that it's full. Ah, darn. All right, so it seems like this is full. So we're going to go see first. Just try our luck. See if it works. Maybe we might be lucky. Where do we get a coupon? The ticket that just online. But, but for today it's uh, up, sold out. Okay. Merci. Bye. We have to go somewhere else. Unfortunately, this one is busted. We're gonna go there. All right, guys, so we made it at the St. Bruno Park. This is the same place we were last week. If you guys have followed us on Instagram, you probably saw that we were here, me, Grace, and uh, Gab. Hey, guys, my sister are at, are at their um, friend's um, uh, birthday party. So I came here to a mountain in the nature with my parents to come explore. It's actually pretty awesome, guys. It's beautiful nature. Look at this. And we're enjoying the sun and we're having a good time. One-on-one -on -one with Gab, actually two-on-one because Mom and I are here. We were actually on the other side. It was less developed to this than this side. This side looks more like organized kind of thing. It looks like a piece of wood burn. Actually, that's what it is. It's charcoal. It's a charcoal, right? Uh-huh. All right, let's go that way. But we might take a walk around here because that's mainly what people come here for, taking hike, walking in the forest. But first we need to eat because it's almost three o'clock and I'm hungry. Oh yeah, there is still snow here, guys. You guys want to go eat in the snow? <laughs> they haven't seen snow in like two weeks. They're running at it like they haven't seen it in years. I mean, be careful with your new shoes, baby. Oh, they're walking through really the mud muddy. there. Oh, no. Oh. See? Ay, ay, ay. I didn't know there was mud right there. Oh, you didn't know? It's true. It's really hard to tell. really dirty. Yeah. Well, we're going to wash it when we get home, Charlie. It's fine. I'll Let's go. go. Yeah. How about we go over there? That table there. All right, Gab found a special table, like very unique. It's like a table on top of a table. 
All right, let's choose that one. It's more safe. What would you think? I think this one's more safe. Like, I don't want the kids to fall off that table there. So we're gonna sit here. Alright guys, so we're done with lunch now. We're gonna pick it up. We had some really nice drone flying here. That was cool. Turned out that Gab decided he wanted to eat the sushi, which was totally unexpected. I had the uh, submarine. He thought it was gross because there's a little spice in the pepperoni, so he didn't want to eat it. I had it. It was good. It reminded me when I was at secondary school. I used to have those like little sandwiches. We put them in the oven. It's actually much better in the microwave. It was memories for me. I might feel bad later because of all the fat I just ingested. Hey, it is what it is. Gab ate sushi. I'm very happy for this because it opens the door to a lot of more things from now on. We're gonna go into the forest. I just saw on the drone that there is actually a lake on top. Let's go see if we can trek all the way there. All right, so that's the lake. Let's go to Shamea Lake. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's so scared. Where'd he go? Dude, he's so fast. Where? Over there! Oh my god, he's so fast. He's already all the way there. Alright, well, well, I'm not gonna chase you all the way there. It's too far. <laughs> Try that. You gotta be careful because there's tick here. There's little tick. And if you go in the forest with no leg, no pants, no leg. You can't go in the forest with no leg, but that'll be hard. So you can get stained with those kind of like little tick and they give you a disease called Lyme. So you gotta be careful if you go in the forest with shorts. She's rocking a little skirt because it's summer. So we're not gonna walk too much in the forest because it might be a little bit uh, scary. If it happens that you do walk in the forest, you have to go home and wash your legs if you don't have any sting, little buggy with their heads inside your skin. If they do, you have to take them off. Be careful. There's special tweezer for that. Contact the doctor. Look online. There's medicine. It's not a big deal but it has to be found within 24 hours so uh, when charlotte was three or four years old she actually got stung with a thick she had like a red bullseye that's the symptoms of like oh you've been stung by a thick the head wasn't there the thick wasn't there so she probably got stung and it fell off within the first 24 hours so she didn't have any like symptoms or whatsoever uh we did consult the doctor you know she was okay what's the impact and everything we're always careful when we're going to forest because of this so. right this here. place apparently what the story is is that virgin mary would have appeared in those grotto in Old Pyrenees. So in 1954 here, they actually built one. And the story doesn't say if the Virgin Mary ever appeared here, but... You okay, Gab? Yeah. What's happening? Stupid flies, yes. They go all over, over Are they here? attracted to my sweat or like what? <laughs> I mean, Gabby is uh, going around like this, like keep chasing things on his head. And I don't have any fly, but apparently they're attracted to him because he's going crazy like this. I'll... Gab, where are you going? What happened? What happened to him? Apparently there's a bee. Is a bee chasing him? Charlotte, why are you carrying that big, gigantic stick? You wanted her to give you more stuff. It is way too big. Wait, Gab, I'm trying to break it. I asked Charlotte for a walking stick, but that is way too big, Charlotte. Too. You and I too. end of this thing it just fell in the mud. I hope it's the mud. I hope it's not in the water. I don't know. Where is it? Oh. Are we lucky? I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh. Ah. Ah. Are they waterproof? Uh, my shoes are not. Well I think I'm gonna have to put it into how did it go there though? I'm gonna have to put it in the in the rice bucket or something. How did it get in there? Like it randomly just went into the forest? Well it was not random. I kind of like flew it in. Well we'll put it in rice, we'll see what happens. We'll turn okay. it off for now. There's not much else we can do anyway. We have a warranty anyways, I think, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's covered like falling into it. <laughs> <laughs> like this was in the water, this was in the water, this was in water. Like the electronic parts might have been. Yeah, it, it's in, it's internal parts are dirty. We'll see. Cross our fingers and hope it's okay. Take off the battery. It's not okay. See this water coming out. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should fly it right now. So it's gonna dry the water. Fortunately, it didn't fell on the side of the gimbal. It fell right just on his butt. These things are tricky. They're electronic. I mean, and they're not waterproof, right? So fly it again, see if it works, okay? Okay, this is working. 
It's a good sign. Aircraft is not con. So now we need to connect it to the... I want to... I do. hope. I really hope because I like it. But, yep, I got, I got visual. Motor unable to rotate. At this point, it is not starting. It's like an old Nintendo, you know? It says motor unable to rotate. So this is actually the one here. This one here yeah. is the one that has like Water. the issue. <laughs> when you rotate, it just doesn't feel like it's rotating like the other one. Let's turn it off. Let's let it rest. We'll let you know in the next vlog if, if we dies. found out how to fix it. If it's fixable. It goes around it. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, don't make it hard enough. It's hard enough for him. No, he doesn't have eyes. He has antennas. That's funny. When they feel like they're in danger, they pretend they're dead. They roll up like they're dried or something. Finally, we're really happy we made it after half an hour of climbing. It's a beautiful place because the lake is so peaceful and everything. We'll see you guys in the next episode. If you like our vlog, please comment down below. Give us a good thumbs up and subscribe because we do video like this twice a week. And then you get to know right away when we post them. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. We love you. And remember, never give up. What does that I'm mean? hoping this might work. I don't know, but I'm hoping it's going to dry them and then make it work better. So is it on right now or are you just like No, no it's not on. No, no, no. It's a, this is just the wind because we're driving that's pushing the blade there. Okay, okay, okay. Like if I stop and get in the car, it's okay. stopped, right? So I'm hoping that this is going to dry the water from the motor. All right, fingers crossed.